It's a whole different ball game when that big metal door starts opening. They give me 50 to life. 25 years. Six months in jail here, back out. Six months here. My actual sentence was 75 years of life. Felt like I was always on the run. I was always watching my back. You have to harden yourself to be a certain way because you don't have certain people or certain things in your life. I was raised in the Bronx. All my friends either died or went to prison. I used to stand on the platform sometimes and just look at the train and stand there and watch it when it come by and go, I wonder what would happen if I jump. How do you show an edge con or a drug addict in passion? Is that possible? I went to jail for $10, 25 years, for a manslaughter. He could have changed his life, he could have been anything, but I took that from him and I suffered every day for it. Now I'm back here again in society, man. I'm trying to see where my life begins, you know, it's all new. I got out on July 6, 2014. You know, if I can have some input and help some guys get their stuff together coming out of prison from long stays. That's what I'm here for. I didn't have nothing when I came out of prison. What job was going to take me with no trade, no nothing? What would I do? Run back to the streets? Go back to prison? That can't happen. Almost a year now, I've been working here. 89 for them have any open. How would you be able to get into this program? Um, you have to be in the shelter system to come into this program. This program is based on, you know, work. And it's not a facility where you can just walk into. You know, that's what makes this different. This facility is, is, is you know, was put together by individuals that want to see people get back into the workforce. I bumped into my friend and he recommended me to come here. At first I was rebelling because I didn't want to be here. That's, I'm keeping it real because I just came home from doing 25 years with a whole bunch of people. When I was in the field, I'd never seen me park before. Hurricane Sandy, I never knew about it. I worked there, it was beautiful. The buildings, the water, I was free. I don't care who saw me by pushing the bucket. I was happy, I didn't have handcuffs on me, I didn't have shackles on my feet. A lot of young guys, they make it very hard for themselves because they're not willing to make sacrifices. You know, um, the same thing that you're running to is going to be there after you do what you need to do to get yourself together. This class is for all of you guys to help you when you get ready to go out in the work field. Okay, there'll be obstacles in front of you, but you have to make this the opportunity that you was talking about when you was up north in the yard. You out now. Now what? You out here now. Now what you gonna do? People don't want to lower their standards by pushing a bucket in Manhattan and cleaning. Right. But they're right. giving you an opportunity to live again. You know what I'm saying? Getting your own place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Putting money in your pocket, feeding you three times a day. You know what I'm saying? I might complain about the classes or this and all that, but at the end of the day, I have to better myself. I never passed anything in my life. I'm 48 years old and I still ain't get my GED because of prison. So I'm, I'm in class now, I'm fighting hard. It's been a long morning. Look, this is three o'clock, baking. A lot of these guys that come in, I come exactly where they come from. You know, I've been homeless, you know, in jail, you know, I experienced some of all of that. So, you know, um, for me to be able to give back to these guys and, 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 and show them how it's done and tell them my story, you know, and how I did it and to see them progress and you know, take charge of their lives and try to get it together. It's a beautiful thing. It's a lot of things that I learned here, man. I'm being honest, this was not my dream. My thing was to cut hair, open up my barbershop, which I'm still gonna do with this dope fund behind me. I've never been a person to be satisfied with what I was given. I wanna earn what I have. I got a long way, I'm still learning. I mean, I'll be making mistakes I guess until I'm 60, 70, 80 years old. You know what I mean? But it's how you bounce back from the mistakes that you make.
you don't want to show weaknesses when you live in the way I was living back then. I sat in the cell for many years. My views and outlooks change. You know, I said, this is not for me. I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do the rest of my life. I don't want to die here. You know, um, I want to get out, I want to see my mother. You know, she's always been in my corner. She's been my number one supporter. She's always told me, I just want you to get out of prison and find somebody and make a life for yourself. Um, I had been incarcerated, I think about 17, 18 years at the time. I didn't know that she had cancer. Nobody ever told me that she had cancer. And the officer called me downstairs and said, they want you downstairs. And I know she passed away. Crying because I can't imagine being locked away so so long from your loved ones. Especially I know how much he loves his mother, how much he misses her. I got to give them something back. And I was not there for them. I didn't change their diapers and stuff like that. Prison, you know what I'm saying, took that away. Well, I, I took that away. But this right here is priceless. I had this photo album over 17 years. First, I thought I was going to make it after 25 years. That's the first thing. And then telling me my daughter was born, that was like, wow. And that tore me up. Dear Dad, and to whomever else may be reading, I am 19 years old now. I turned 20 in October. In all my years of living, I can count on my hands how many times I've seen my father in person. Even from the inside of jail, you never failed to be an amazing father to me. So here's to you, Dad. In my heart, I am a daddy's girl without her dad. I longed for my dad all my life. I miss you so much all the time, and when I think of you, I can't help but cry because I want to know you, but I don't. There wasn't a graduation I didn't want him at, wishing I could see him in the audience next to the rest of my family with tears in their eyes. You may have missed some key moments in my life, but I won't hesitate to fill you in once you're out here with me every day. And I can't wait to know him, the real him, and all that he has to offer. Awesome. I'm crying because I'm happy. Cause I'm I know. Here. You know, it took a long time. But I made it. <laughs> I just I just enrolled in um the safe serve class. Is that your favorite class? Yeah, I like that class. Because <laughs> yeah. well, they're teaching us a lot of stuff. You know how to write resumes and how to we have mock interview on the twenty fourth, which um is coming up soon. I have to wear my first suit. <laughs> <laughs> you start to value things like freedom and being able to do what you want to do, and you know. Um, care about how people view you in life, you know, your thought process is going to change. And, and, and through that, you will change the way you think and the way you do things. And people will look at you differently. What's up? Hey, what's good? I'm looking for you, bro. Oh, man. How you doing? Chilling, man. You all right? Yeah, man. Yo, here. This suit I was telling you about? Yeah. First suit I got when I came home. I just wanted to say this to you, Sean, right? You're gonna be okay. For real, bro. You're gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? This is a whole new life. Everything that you did before is washed away. This is what I love to do. You know what I mean? I want to do this as a career, man. And this program, man, is gonna allow me to do that, man. I'll tell you. Trying to see if I can open up a barbershop, man, on my own. How long you been here? Going on what? Two weeks now. Two weeks. Two weeks. Sometimes it's going to get tough. With, you know what I'm saying? Around with other guys being here. You just came from doing what? Twelve. Wow. Twelve years, man. Now you're back. You just got to keep it up. Don't let nobody or no one distract you. I got money on my card, I got money in the bank. Things that I never experienced before in my life. You know what I'm saying? I take care of my family and my kids, man. That's, those are my pride and joy, that's it. Once you have contacts 
and people see that you're serious about changing your life and you want to do something for yourself, they'll open the door for you. Be good. Uh, the dope one gave us a chance to, to live, for second chance. Then.